people of the internet. Now, there have been a lot of bitching and moaning posts on the forums, not just on the official forums for this game, but on just all over the place. I can't find weapons. I don't know where to go. There's too many zombies. It's too hard. You know, you, you, it's stupid. It, it's stupid. It, it really is. So, I decided to start up a YouTube channel because I was doing a lot of streaming, but honestly, I could do it, put out 1080p videos of decent quality, and my streaming, I just, it doesn't come out of the same quality. So, I figured I might as well just stop streaming altogether and just start doing YouTube videos. And some of them will be tutorial videos like this one, and some will be, um, you know, just me fucking around, playing the game, playing this game, playing other games, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I've been meaning to start for a while, but I just finally decided to get into it. So, one of the biggest questions a lot of new people ask me is, where can I get a better backpack? And like, I can't find a better backpack anywhere. I can't find a better pack. Don't know where to get melee weapons. Don't know where I can't get binoculars. They, they bitch at me of all kinds of shit. I've happened to find stuff everywhere, but there is one particular spot where you can go to, and there's a really high chance of getting backpacks, binoculars, and a melee weapon just right off the bat, just to get you going. And I already went through this tunnel once earlier on a different server, and you know I already got this, this, and I already got a melee weapon, binoculars, and a medium backpack going on my way through. So I don't know what's in here this time, but this is where I am: the Oak Mountain Rest Stop. It's the right across the river over there is Camp Splinter. You actually have to end up going all the way around down here. So if you spawn over here somewhere, you have to walk down here, walk down, cross the bridge, and walk back this way. If you spawn over here, Campos is just over here by the river. Now, I recommend coming through from the town side because obviously you, on your way through you can go through the general store and there's some cop cars and stuff you can get some better loot at. But that's not the point I'm going towards. The whole point is how you can go about looting this tunnel and how to get through it without, you know, without, without either dealing with the zombies or just avoiding them entirely. So here we go. It's night right now. I wish it was daytime, but I don't feel like waiting, you know, another fucking two or three hours for the sun to come up. I might do another one whenever the sun comes up. I don't know. So, here we go. Like, any approach, any approach, don't come from the main road. If you come from the main road, you're stupid, you're gonna die. Don't pull out a flashlight. If you pull out a flashlight, you're stupid and you're gonna die. As you can see, I don't, I have all, this is what my video settings are at. I'm only pro and out so I don't get seen. This is what my video settings are at. Okay, I have custom on, I have everything on ultra except for ground foliage. Because if you have all the foliage on, it just, it, it, that's, a, that's a different post. Let's just put it that way. I'll show, I can go through my video settings later. But you never want to approach straight from the front. You need to be aware of where other spawn zones are, where the people come from. A lot of people like to come from Rocky Ford to come up this way, so you need to watch around. Just keep, keep your head on the swivel. That's really one of the biggest things about this game is tactical awareness. Be aware. I mean, I only have binoculars and a hammer. If some guy gets a drop on me and he has a gun of any sort, he's going to kill me. That's just how it is. He, he will kill me. So, it's just a matter of being around, being aware. Also, look at the mountaintops. Up against the skyline, somebody will silhouette themselves very nicely against the skyline. You should always be looking behind you. Just every couple of seconds, just spin around for a second, look, don't see nobody, keep going. I have killed people many times that are fully equipped with nothing but a hammer because they are stupid and don't look behind them. Alright, here we go. Okay, starting to hear zombies. I don't know where they're at, but I got a good guess they're probably right on the other side over here. Yep, see, there's one right there, two, three. Four, five, six. I see six zombies. If you just go sprinting through here, you're going to get all of them after you. Chances are you'll probably get some after you coming through the tunnel anyway, and I will show you a spot to get to to where they they won't be able to get to you. That's the whole point, is that if you need to get a respite from them, you can. So just crawl. I don't see any player movement down there, I don't think. Just 
take a moment. Just take a moment. For those that don't know how to do the shoulder switch, you pull out any weapon, any weapon whatsoever, you zoom in with the right mouse click, and by default you can hit shift and you can switch, switch like this. Oh god. No, go, what the hell was that? No, oh god. Fuck you, Windows. Messing up my video. Guess it's shift too many times. Keep looking. Just because you're crawling around doesn't mean somebody just can't come up behind you and kill your ass. I don't see any zombies immediately, so I'm going to get up. Now, where I know where I want to go to is there's like a set of tables underneath a little tent on this side over here. That's where I want to get to, so I'm going to cross the street. Keep looking. The whole point is to avoid zombies as much as you can. Now, I'm looking right here. I only see one between me and my little goal, but look, he's moving off. Look, another one taking his place. Alright, I'm gonna elect to take this guy out. If you hit zombies in the head, aim just to the right of their head like that. You see how I didn't put the cursor right on top of him? I aim just to the right. If you're that close, the cursor is not that accurate in third person. Me. I'm gonna demonstrate the safe spot. Watch. Oh. See? They can't get to you. And these are the tables I'm talking about. For demonstration purposes, I am going to switch server a few times. That way you can see what spawns here, alright? So don't hang me or anything for doing this. This is just for I'm not going to pick up anything. I really am not. I just want to show, show the benefit of this particular set of tables right here, alright? So I'm going to cut the video right now, and I'm going to start up again if I switch servers. Okay, we're back. Let me take care of this zombie real fast and you'll see exactly what I mean. Come on, die, bitch. Okay, look. Two pairs of binoculars, a medium backpack, a hammer, what is this? A large backpack, and barbed wire barricade. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? This table right here is a very, very good thing for spawns, for new players. You get three really good pieces of equipment that'll get you going in the right direction and maybe even a chance at something extra like a gun or a barbed wire barricade or something like that okay I'm not gonna take this stuff I'm going to leave this stuff here for a legitimate player who got you got to this spot on the server legitimately I just server hopped to get here so I am ethical about that kind of stuff I'm not gonna take this stuff I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna leave it I'm just gonna run through here so you can see kind of all the other little spawn areas This is why I don't approach from this direction. Look, there's another hammer right here. Look at that. That is the reason I don't <laughs> I don't come from this way. There are too many goddamn zombies. Way too many goddamn zombies. There's something in that car. Let's see if I can get back to that safe spot. I don't want to go to the safe spot because then it'll have a big ass pack of zombies right there and that'll fuck over anybody trying to get to that stuff. So I'm not going to do that. You know, the whole point I'm trying to make here is that you can go out and find 
for new players, you can find the basics of equipment. The whole point... There, people say there isn't an item progression in this game, and they're right to an extent, but not fully. There are basic things that you need. If you have a melee weapon, a backpack of any sort, besides a small backpack, and binoculars, you can successfully loot any area of the game 100% of the time. Granted, you might have some issues with players, but that's a whole different set of videos. You don't need to have some kind of badass gun to go into Campos. You don't need to have any of that kind of stuff. You're careful about what you're doing. You can indeed look at I'm just evading these zombies. I'm fucking with them. Yeah, they've hit me a few times, but that's because I'm not really trying. Okay, now they're going to kill me. Come on, kill me. See, the point I'm trying to make is that I want to encourage people that are having issues just finding gear and their new player. If you're a veteran player and you're having a hard time finding gear, I don't have any sympathy for you because you should know how to go about finding gear. Especially if you've been playing since October like me. If you don't know how to find gear at this point, I'm sorry, you, you, nobody's going to be able to teach you. The whole point is to try to teach newer people how to do it. Let's see. Does that have anybody in a safe zone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's not hard to find to find a lot of gear. It, it really isn't. Like this is stuff. Just uh, this isn't even. I wouldn't even say all oh, this is all the stuff since you know the wipe. It's not. This I've been able to empty, clear out, and fill back up my entire inventory here in the last I don't know week or so, two weeks. Because I, I tend to give out a lot of stuff to to viewers on my streams and whatnot. And I'll probably get to start giving it out to viewers and everything. But it's it's. It's not hard to go out and find everything you're going to need. It, it's really not. It really and truthfully isn't. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the first video. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions on our suggestions or wants to see how a certain other place can be looted, uh, just leave me a comment here. I'm probably going to make a forum post about this video as well. Um, tips, tricks, anything. Anybody that's got more experience on YouTube than me, Please feel free. And uh, I will see you guys next time.